Good evening, people. Watch Romans 65. Lisa Boyce again. Let me give you a verse of scripture. It's in Romans 1 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So Romans 1 16. So let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ, the moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, all of that. He will change you. Earlier, I said that uh, uh, Russia... I made a mistake. I meant the U.S. had sent off or tested a nuke or whatever they tested. It was the U.S. This came out earlier today, but I couldn't get to it because I had to go pick up Zach and I had to go and do some errands. But Iran opened silos. Dozens of ballistic missiles ready to launch. Now, I haven't heard anything as of yet, but... The thermal um, meter and the tension in the Middle East are rising sharply as after yesterday's attempt by the Houthis to attack Israel from Yemen. Today, the Supreme Military Command of Iran gave an order for the sudden mobilization of the country's ballistic arsenal. I told you they had a bomb. So the Iranian Guards Aerospace Force put the Ballistic Missile Command on high alert. Again, I haven't heard anything yet, but who knows. According to Iranian sources, the Iranian Guard Air Force is set to conduct major ballistic missile exercises near, I think it's Qom. Photos and videos show Iran moving dozens of ballistic missiles to launch sites. Ballistic missiles are coming out of the bowels. They're saying bowels. Literally. Of Iran's mountains. I'm telling you. God only knows what Israel is going to do. About this. Today. It has been. How can I say it? It has been. Unusually quiet. It has been really quiet today for a few alarms going off here and there. But other than that, it has been quiet. No one knows yet if Iran will launch a missile as a warning. However, the city of Qom looks toward Iraq and Israel. This little city where all those missiles are, it looks towards Iran and Iraq or uh Iraq and Israel. Meanwhile, Iranian state media claim Major General Mohammed Bagari, chief of the general staff of the Iranian Armed Forces, has asked the Quateri Defense Minister to deny the United States Air Force use of the Al Uded Air Base near Doha. So they're asked the minister to deny anything from the United States Air Force. Qatar, according to the Iranian agency, is, eva is evaluating Iran's request. If the information transmitted by the Iranians is true, then this is a very worrying development. Iran has something in mind. If they open those silos, they definitely have something in mind. And if they open them, Israel knows what's going on. And like I said earlier, 
Mark Levine said it. The Samson option might be a thing. Now, if that's the case, Russia will hit Israel. So God is really going to have to intervene with this. You don't open silos to missiles, thermometers, missile attacks. The silos are open in their mountains and everything. It actually used the word bowels. Literally, these missile silos are everywhere. They've opened up silos for ballistic missiles. And they're moving dozens of these ballistic missiles to launch sites. This isn't just an exercise. This isn't just for show. It goes on to say, the Israel Defense Forces reportedly deployed a submarine fleet amid rising tensions with Iran and Hezbollah. Duran Kadash, a journalist associated with the IDF, reported that Israel has begun deploying its submarine fleet across the region as part of its preparations for possible combat scenario, particularly in response to growing concerns that related to Iran and Hezbollah. Although it was not said where Israel's submarines are deployed, according to previous IDF exercises, nuclear-capable Submarines are deployed in the Eastern Mediterranean, Arabian Sea, and the Red Sea. Israel's submarine fleets serve as a critical component of the country's military capabilities. These submarines provide Israel with a powerful and versatile tool to safeguard its national security interests in both defensive and offensive capabilities. I'm sorry, I have a feeling this thing is definitely going to go nuclear. I said that before, and I, they would not do this if they wasn't planning something. That's why the United States did what they did in Nevada. A dolphin submarine reportedly carried up to 16 torpedoes and missiles. The five dolphin class submarines represents Israel's, listen to this, this dolphin submarine represents Israel's ace up the sleeve. These people are getting ready to fight. It's, it's getting ready to be a throwdown, as we say in the street, or used to. Israel's first nuclear weapons were completed in the early 1970s and were developed as drop bombs and Jericho ballistic missiles. Perhaps the most reliable arm of the nuclear triad is the maritime arm consisting of submarines that can carry nuclear missiles. Submarines can disappear for weeks or even months following a top secret patrol route while they wait for orders to launch their missiles. Israel is nothing to play with. Especially because they have God by, the, <laughs> by their side. I'm serious. They have... Mm. I don't know. This is getting very, very spicy. This so-called, listen, this so-called, well, it says here submarines can disappear for weeks and even months following a top secret patrol route while they wait for orders to launch their missiles. This so-called second strike Capability is based on the principle of nuclear deterrence and ensures that potential enemies will think twice before attacking. The first three submarines are called the Dolphin, the Leviathan, which if you read the book of Job, the Leviathan is a dragon. And it is in the book of Job. And the Takuma. And they were commissioned between 1999 and 2000. 
The second batch of Dolphin submarines, the Dolphin IIs, were ordered in the mid-2000s. So far, 45 mil uh, military and civilian aircraft have landed in Israel carrying weapons, ammunition, and even medical equipment to support the IDF in its war against Hamas. A Boeing 747 landed that landed at Ramon Air Force Base was carrying several ambulances and several tons of medical equipment. So they got videos here and everything. So this is, uh, wow. I'm going to link all of this in the description box. Is Iran is getting ready to do something to Israel. And Israel will not let that happen. This is serious. This is extremely disturbing. Even War News put that in their article that this is worrisome. What Iran is doing right now. I'm going to link this in the description box and if anything else comes up, I'll be back. Thank you.